بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد تفسير السعدي تفسير أين تفسير السعدي تفسير الكريم الرحمن في تفسير في تفسير القرآن عبد الرحمن نصر سعد رسالت بين نصر الدين الخطاب ريتيد بيهودا خطاب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تفسير سورة القلب نون والكلام وما يسترون نون بيد بين نو ديريت ما انت بنعمه ربك بمجنون يو او محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ارنوت بيد جروس يا لورد امادما وان لك لاجن غير ممنون فري يو ويل هاف ا نيفر اندينج ريوارد وانك وانك لا على خلق قديم ان فري يو ار اوف ان اكزالتد كاركتر فستبصروا ويبصرون سو يو ويل سي ان دي ويل سي انام بايكم مفتون Which of you is confused? Inna Rabbaka huwa alam biman dallan sabilihi wa alam bil muhtadin. Well, your Lord knows best who has gone astray from his path, and he knows best who is rightly guided. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the pain, which includes all pains that are used to write different kinds of knowledge, and with which prose and poetry are written. That is because the pain and what is written with it is of all kinds of words. It's one of the great signs of Allah. It is said that Allah should swear by to the to the innocence of His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of what His enemies attributed to Him of His sanity. Allah states that He was not a madman by the grace and kindness of His Lord, for He had for He had blessed Him with perfect reasoning, mature thinking, and concise speech, which was the best which 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 was the best that pens could record and people could write down. That is true, bliss in this world. Then Allah mentions his bliss in the hereafter, as he says, Very you'll have a never-ending reward. Very you'll have a never-ending reward. That is a great reward, as indicated by the indefinite form of the word. Never-ending, that is, unceasing, rather it will be ongoing and eternal. That is because of what the Prophet ﷺ did previously of righteous deeds and because of his sublime character. Therefore Allah says, And very you are an excellent, you are an exalted character, that is, a sublime character, for you have attained an exalted position by virtue of your exalted character, which Allah had blessed you, which Allah, with which Allah uh, blessed you. His exalted character may be summed up by the way of the mother of the believers. Aisha radiallahu anha explained it to the one who asked her about it. He said, his character was the Quran, recorded by Abu Dawood and authenticated by Albani. This is similar to the verses between which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Make allowance for people's nature, enjoy what is right, and turn away from the ignorant. Al-Araf, uh, Surah 7, verse 199. It is by the mercy of Allah that you deal gently with them. If you had, if you had been harsh or hard-hearted, they would have dispersed from around you, so pardon them, and ask for Allah's forgiveness for them, and console them in matters of importance. Then when you have taken a decision, put your trust in Allah. For Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. Al Imran 3 159. And there has come to you a messenger uh, from among yourself. It grieves him that you suffer. And he, is, and he is full of concern for you. And towards the believers is compassionate and merciful. And, um, this is Toba uh, 9 verse 128. And there are similar verses which indicate that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. أي نعم and there are similar verses which indicate that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم possessed the noblest of characteristics and which encourage us to strive to attain an an exalted character. He possessed the best and noblest of characteristics in each of which he attained the ultimate degree. He was easygoing and gentle and was close to people. He will accept the invitation of anyone who invited him, meet the need of anyone who asked him for help, and respond kindly to anyone who asked of him, never turning anyone away empty-handed. away empty -handed. If his companion suggested something to him, he would agree with them and go along with them, provided there was no shari reservations among concerning it. He wanted to decide what about a matter. He would not make a decision concerning it without, 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 without their move, improvement. Rather, he will console them and seek their advice.
He will, he will show appreciation to those among them who did good, good and forgive those who cause offense. He never sat and talked to anyone without showing the best behavior and nothing towards him. He will never frown at him or speak harshly to him, and he never stopped being cheerful with him. He will not take him to us to task for his slips of the tongue, and he will not even he will, and he will overlook anything he showed of righteousness. Rather, he will treat him ex extremely kindly and show great forbearance towards him. As Allah had blessed him with all exalted characteristics in all aspects, and his enemies claimed that he was, and he was insane and confused, Allah said, So you will see, and they will see, which of you is confused. And Allah indeed made it clear that he was the most guided of people and the most perfect of them in, in and, uh, and of himself and in his attitude towards others, whereas his enemies were the most misguided of people and the worst of people in the attitude towards others. It is, it is they who sought to confuse the slave of Allah and lead them astray from his path. It is enough, it is enough that Allah knows that about them, for it is who, who brings people to account and request them for their deeds. Verily your Lord knows best to best, best who has gone astray from his path, and he knows best who is really guided. This is a to, to, to those who have gone astray, and I promise those who follow the true guidance, and it highlights the wisdom of Allah as, guide, as he guides those who are afraid to receive guidance to the, to the, to the exclusion of others. So do not yield to the disbelievers. The wish that you will co compromise so that they too will compromise. And do not yield to any compatible old monga. Who goes about with the malicious gossip. With withholding good, transgressing beyond bounds. Tipped in the sin. Uthullim bada likazanim. Hash and fadamo ignobo. And kala da mali wabanin because he has wealth and sons. Ida tula alehi ayatuna kala satru lawalin. When our versions are recited to him, he says, This is nothing but tales of the ancients. Sanasimuhu al khurtum. We will make him on this note. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his Prophet. So do not yield to the disbelievers who reject you and stubbornly deny the truth, for they do not deserve to be yielded to, because they only ask that which is in accordance with, with their whims and desires, and they seek nothing but falsehood. Therefore, the one who yields to them will be giving present to that which will harm him. This is general in meaning and applies to every disbelief and every yielding that results from disbelief, although this context refers to a specific case, which is when the polygist as the Prophet Sallallahu to refrain from criticizing their, their gods and their religion, in return for which they will stop criticizing him. Hence Allah says, they, namely the politists, wish that you will compromise. That is that you will agree to some of what they follow, either in word or deed, or by keeping quiet concerning issues that you should make clear, so that they too will compromise. Rather you should convey the commands of Allah and preach the religion of Islam openly. And part of preaching it openly is denouncing its opposite and criticizing what it is, which uh, criticizing that which is uh, contrary to it, and do not yield to any cont contemptible old monger. That is one who swears a lot of oath, because such a person can only be a liar, and whoever is a liar cannot be can, uh, cannot cannot but be cont contemptible. That is base and vile, uh, lacking in wisdom, with no aspiration for good. Rather, all of his aspirations are connected to bears, physical desires. But a backbiter, that is one who criticizes people a great deal and speaks ill of them, gossiping about them, mocking them, and so on. Who goes about with malicious gossip, that is, he goes about among people, spreading malicious gossip, which means transmitting the words of the one to another for the purpose of causing trouble between them and stirring up enmity and resentment. With the holding good, that is, he will do, he withholds the good that he should do, such, obligo, such, such as obligatory spending, expiratory charity, zakah, and so on, transgressing beyond bonds against people by, wrong, by wronging them and causing them physical harm and transgressing against their world and honor. He stepped in sin, that is, he commits a great deal of sin that he has to do with transgressing against the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, harsh that is cruel, vicious, and hard hearted, and willing to subsidize the truth, and furthermore, ignoble, that is, illegitimate uh, for non lineage, there is nothing in his essence that could lead to a good, uh, rather, his uh, character is the worst, and he has no hope for achieving success.
Aywa, to sum up, Allah forbids yielding to any vile old monger and liar who has the worst of characteristics, especially characteristics that include self-admiration and arrogance towards the truth and towards people. Who, look, who looks down on people and therefore for backbites and spread malicious gossip, criticizing them, and who commits a great deal of sin. Although these vices were revealed concerning some of the politicians, such as Al-Walid ibn al-Mughira or someone else, but because Allah says of him, because he has well done sons, when our revelations are said to him, he says this is nothing but tales of the ancient, ancients. That is, because, that, is, that is, because he had an abundance of wealth and sons, he transgressed and was too arrogant to accept the truth, and he rejected it when it came to him, regarding it as a male tale of the ancients, which could as be accepted or rejected. They are, they are also general in meaning and apply to anyone who meets his, this description, because the Quran was revealed to guide, of, to guide all, all of humanity, which includes the first generations of this Ummah and the last of them. Some verses may have been revealed for a specific reason, or concerning a specific individual, in order to qualify general, general principle. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns, the one who does, who does what he has described here, he said that he will mark him on his note as a punishment, so that the, this punishment will be obvious. He will be given a mark in the place where he will feel, he feel it most, namely the, his face. Aina. Inna balonahum kam balona sab al jannah idak samul asrimun hamusbin. Verily, we have we have tested them, the people of Mac of Mac, as we tested the people of the garden, when they saw to harvest its fruits the following morning. Walla yastatnun, and made no allowance for the will of Allah. Fataafa alayha taifum al Rabbi kahum naimun. And so a, a visitation from your Lord uh, came upon them while they they slept. Fahzbahat kasarim, and it was. And it was burned and turned black as night. Fanado musbihin, and in the morning they call out to one another. Ani kudu al artikum in kuntum sarimin. Let us go early to our garden if we want to harvest its fruits. Fa anta la kuhum yatakhafatun. So they set up, is whispering to one another. An la yaduhlun al yom alaykum miskin. Ainam, we should not. Yani. We should definitely not let any pure person enter the garden today. Wagadu al ardin kadirin. Ainam, and they set out quietly, thinking that they were able to do what they had resolved to do. Ainam. Aywa. Falam marawha kalu inna la dalun. But when they saw the garden, they said, We must have lost our way. Bal nahnu mahrumun. Then they said, Nay, rather we have been deprived of its fruits. The best of them said, Did not say to you, Why do you not glorify Allah and the friend from withholding charity? Ainam. قالوا سبحان ربنا إن كنا دالمين. they say glory to be to our Lord. we were indeed wrong to us. بل نحن محرومون. لا لا ده تنو أفريد. أيوة فأقبل بعضهم على بعض تلاومون. then they turn upon one another with 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 reproaches. أيوة قالوا يا ويلا إنا كنا تاغين. They they said who to us we have indeed transgressed. أسا ربنا يبدلنا خير منه إن ربنا راقبون كذلك الأذاب والأذاب الآخر أكبر لو كانوا يعلمون. Perhaps our Lord will give us a better a better one in its place. Verily to our Lord we turn in hope. Such is the punishment in this world and the punishment of the hereafter is greater if only they knew. He Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, we have tested these people who deny the truth, and we have given them respect and bestowed upon them whatever he, we will of wealth, children, long life, and so on. That is in accordance with their wishes, not because they are dearer to us, but so that they may be, they may, they may be led step by step to their sin, without realizing that this is our, this, this, this is our plan. That they, they, they are being deceived by that is similar to the way in which the owners of the garden 
who were partners therein were deceived when the fruit reaped, and the trees were laden with fruit, and the time had come to harvest it, and they were certain that it was within their grasp and under their control, and that there was nothing to prevent them from that. Therefore, they saw that they would harvest it in the morning without making any allowance for the will of Allah. They did not realize that, that Allah was watching and that the punishment will reach them before that. So a, vi eh, I know, so a vision from your Lord, that is a punishment that befell it at night, come upon it while they, they sleep and destroy it completely. And it was burned and turned uh, black as, as night. That is, like a dark night, all, all, all its trees and fruit were gone. But they were not aware of this painful reality. Hence they called out to one another the following morning, saying to one another, let us go early to our garden, if we want to harvest its fruit. So they set out, heading towards it, whispering to one another, discussing how to withhold the, do the, the dues of Allah, and saying, We should definitely not let any pure person enter the garden today. That is, they, they, they went early before other people were out and about, and advised one another to withhold any charity from the poor and needy. Out of indignance and extreme caution, they spoke in whispers, lest anyone hear them and tell the people about that. And they set out with that with that reprehensible attitude of a hard hard heartedness and lack of compassion. Quickly, thinking that they were able to do what they had resolved to do, namely to withhold the dues of Allah and certain of their ability to achieve that. But when they saw the garden in the condition they described by Allah, having turned black as night, they said in their confusion and distress, "We must have lost our way." Perhaps this is not it. When they realized that it was indeed their garden, and they come to their senses, they said, Nay, rather, we have been deprived of its fruits. At, the, at that point, they realized that it was a punishment. The best of them, that is, the most, the most just and fair-minded of them, said, Did I not say to you, Why do you not glorify Allah and refrain from withholding charity? That is, why did you not declare Allah to be above all that is not befitting, befitting to Him, which includes your thinking that your power is independent? If you had made an allowance for the will of Allah and said, if Allah wills, thus making your will subject to the will of Allah, this will not have happened to you. They said, Glory be to our Lord. We were indeed wrongdoers. That is, after they had realized their error, but that was after the punishment had befallen their garden and could not be lifted. But perhaps the glorification of Allah and the acknowledgement of their wrongdoing benefited them by reducing their burden of sin. Perhaps this word is reflected repentance on their part and immense regret. Then they turned upon one another with ruptures, blaming one another for what they had done. They said, Woe to us, we had indeed transgressed. That is, we, are, we, we, we overstrapped the mark with regard to the right of Allah and the rights of his, of his slaves. Perhaps our Lord will give us a better one in its place. Prior to our Lord, we turn in hope. They hope that Allah will give them something better than it, and they promise that they will turn in hope to Allah and will persist in that in this world life. If they did what they promised, it seems that Allah will have replaced it with something better than it uh, in this world, because whoever calls upon Allah sincerely, turning to him in hope, he will, he will give him what he seeks. Then Allah SWT says, commenting on what happened, such is the punishment in this world. For the one who does, for the one who does that which incurs punishment, Allah will take away from his slaves the thing that caused him to transgress and be arrogant and give precedent to the life of of, the, of this world. He will, will take it away from him at the time when he needs it most, and the punishment of the hereafter is greater than the punishment of this world. If only they knew, whoever knows that will eventually be deter be deterred from anything that may incur the punishment. In verily for those who are pure, they are gardens of delight with their Lord. Afanajal Muslimina Kalamujrimin. Are we to treat those who have sub submitted in Islam in the same way as the evildoers? Malakum kefatahkumun. What is the matter with you that you judge as you do? Aywa. Amlakun fi amlakun kitabun fi the drusun. Or do you have a scripture from which you learn? In the lakum fi lamma tahayarun. That you will be given whatever you choose. Or have you received a solemn promise binding upon us and the day of restoration that you will have whatever you decide? Ask them which of them can guarantee that.
or do they have associates who will vouch for them? Then let them bring their associates if they are telling the truth. Here yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yeah, subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us of what he has prepared for the pure who avoid disbelief and sin. Of all kinds of delight and life, of peace in closeness to the most gracious. And he tells us that his, that he, that his wisdom does not dictate that you should make the Muslim who are devoted to their Lord comply with his commands and seek his pleasure like the evildoers who persist in disobeying him, denying his signs and revelations, opposing his messengers and fighting his close friends. Whoever thinks that Allah will reward them equally in mistake, is mistaken, uh, his, his judgment is false and his thinking is corrupt. If, he, if, he, if the evil, evildoers think that they have no evidence and no scripture from which they learn or, or which they decide to tell them, they, that they will uh, be among the people of paradise and will have, wed, or will have whatever they want or choose. They have no covenant with, with Allah and no solemn promise that is binding upon him until the day of resurrection that they will have whatever they choose and they have no partners or supporters who will help them to get whatever they want. If they do have partners and supporters, they let them bring them if they are telling the truth. It is well known that they have none of these things. They have no scripture. They have no promise with Allah of salvation and they have no partners to help them. That is uh, that 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 does it is known that their claim is utterly false. Ask them which of them can guarantee that, for no one can guarantee gar guarantee it. Yom Ayukshaf on Sakun Rasudin Falasati Un. On that on the day when the dreadful calamity horn falls, when they are called upon to proceed, they will not be able to do so. Khashatan Absarhum Tarakum Dilla, or at Gandhi Rasudini Falafahum Salimun. Their eyes are downcast, humiliation will overwhelm them, for they had been called upon to proceed when they were all unable to do so, but they refused. When the day of resurrection comes and troubles, earthquakes, and calamities begin to unfold, that as cannot be, be, be imagined. And the Creator comes to judge between His slaves and require, require them. All creatures will see of the majesty and greatness of Allah, that which cannot be expressed. At this point, at that point, they will be called to prostrate to Allah. The believers who used to prostrate to Allah willingly and uh, by choice will prostrate, and the doers and prophets will try to prostrate, but they will not be able to do so, for their for, the, for their backs will be as solid and flexible as the home as the home as the, as the homes of cattle, unable to bend. This is a requital that will match their deeds, for in this world they were they were called to prostrate to Allah, affirm His oneness, and worship Him when they were uh, whole and sound, with no physical defect. But they were too arrogant and refused to do that, so do not ask about their situation and bad faith on that day. For Allah will be angry with them, and, and, and the punishment will have become inevitable for them. They will be utterly helpless, and no regret or excuse will benefit them on the day of restoration. They should serve as a deterrent against commanding sins, and should make one strive uh, to make up for what one who has missed uh, out on while, on while it is still possible to do so, hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. فدرني ومن كذب هذا الحديث تسترجو من هيت ولا يعلمون. So leave me to deal with those who reject this discourse. The Quran will lead them step by step to their sin, to their ruin, uh, without even that, without even uh, without, without they are even realizing it. وأملي لهم إن كيدي متين. I will give them respect for my for my strat stratagem is sure. أم تسلم هجرا فهم المغرم يتقالون. Or is it that you are asking them for recompense, which which uh, which they find to bond uh, to bond and some? I know. Aiyah, I mean the Maghrib for whom you are Or do they have knowledge of the unseen, which they are uh, waiting writing down? فاسبي لوك من ربك ولا تنقص عيب الهوت إذ نادى وهو مقدوم So be patient with the decree of your Lord and do not be like the one who was swallowed by the fish namely Yunus when he called out in distress لو لا تركوا نمت من ربي ونبدأ بالعرب وهو مدموم Had it not been for grace from his Lord that reached him he would surely have been cast up blameworthy upon the barren shore
فاجتباه ربه فجعله من الصالحين يس لور تشوزيم ان ميد هيم ون اوف ذا رشياس ويكاد الذين كفروا يزنون كبصارهم لما سمعوا ذكره ويقولون انه لمجنون ايوه ايوه نعم يس Those who disbelieve almost strike you down with their malicious tears when they hear the remainder of the Quran and they say he is usually he is usually he is usually insane. وما هو إلا ذكر للعالمين. If the Quran is 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 the Quran is but a reminder to the world. That is leave me to deal with those who disbelieve in the Holy Quran for it is incumbent upon me to requite them. Do not seek to hasten and any the punishment for them, for we will lead them step by step to their ruin without even without their even realizing it. So we give them wealth and children, we grant them provision and achievement, so that they will be deceived and will persist in that which will harm them. This Allah's this is the last strategy for them, and the strategy of Allah for his enemies is sure and strong, and will cause them the utmost harm and 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 punishment or is it that you are asking them for companies which define to abandon them that is there is no reason for the aversion towards you and their failure to believe that which you have brought for you are teaching them and calling them to allah for their own benefit without asking them for any recompense that they will do they, that they will find but burden some i know or do they have knowledge of the unseen which they are writing down and did they find in these unseen matters that they are in the right and that they will have reward with Allah? That is not the case. Rather, their the attitude is that of stubborn wrongdoers. Therefore, there is no option left but to show patience towards their annoyances and put up with their behavior and to persist in calling them. Hence, Allah says, So be patient to the degree of your Lord in terms of both religious and universal decrees. So the universal decree should be born we should be born with patience if it is truthful and should not be responded to with panic and worry and the religious decree should be responded to with to with the acceptance and submission and full compliance with the divine command and do not be like the one who was swallowed by the fish namely yunus uh, ibn matta radiallahu anhu what is meant is do not be like him in that attitude that led to him being detained in the belly of the fish that attitude was lack of patience with his people, as was requested of him, that led to him departing and in, in anger, as he was angry with his lord, uh, as, as he was angry with his lord, and he travelled by sea. Then when then when the ship became heavy, its passengers and and, and, and crew and crew drew lots to decide which of them will be drawn overboard so as to lighten the, the lord. And Yunus lost the draw. Then the fish swallowed him, he had done an act of worthy of blame. I know. When he called out in distress, when he was in the belly of the fish, which was confined space, therefore he called out in distress, saying, "There is no, there is no, there is no, there is no God, uh, but you. Glory be to you. I have indeed done wrong." Allah answered his prayer, and the fish cast him up, sick on the barren shore, where Allah caused a great a gourd vine to grow for him. Hence Allah says, "Here, you know." Um, Had it, had it been uh, for grace from his Lord that reached him, he would surely have been uh, cast up, blameworthy upon the barren shore. That is, that is, he would have been cast up on the barren shore, which is uh, which is empty, land, which is empty, which is empty land, blameworthy. But Allah bestowed His mercy upon him. He could have been cast up, blameworthy. But because of uh, the, the, the the divine grace, he was cast up, uh, praiseworthy, and become better than he had been originally. He ends Allah says, He saw His Lord choose him. That is, He chose him, selected him, and and, and purified him, and made him one of the righteous. That is one of those whose words, his intentions, and actions are righteous. Our Prophet وسلم, obeyed the command of His Lord and was patient with the decree of His Lord in a manner that was unmatched by anyone else in creation. So Allah granted him the best consequences. And the best outcome is for those who fear Allah, Al Qasas 28 and his enemies could not cause him any harm except that it backfired on them. They were even keen to strike him down with their malicious stairs because of their envy, rage, and resentment. This was the most this is this was the most that they could do in terms of physical harm, but Allah protected and supported them. In terms of verbal harm, they said things and concerning him based on what they thought in their heart. So they said at various times that he was a madman, a sorcerer, or a poet. 
if the if the if the Quran is is better remind of the world if the world is no Quran the wise reminder is better remind the world to make them think of that which is best for them in both spiritual and worldly terms. This is the end of the commentary on Surah Al-Kalam. All praise and thanks are for Allah and may the praise and blessing and may the, and, and may the I may the praise and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad his family and his companions abundantly until the day of judgment.